From Joe Biden's chances to abortion struggles will the governor of Kentucky prepare the 2024 plan? Show title Hyde title Kentucky governor signals that it focuses on family values Kentucky governor. Andy B. Shear is preparing for choice of the year, which may be most fervent contention. And in an interview with Associated Press, Democrat said in first term that he would not leave so-called family values issues to his Republican rival, Campbellsville, K.Y. Bradley Taylor is concerned about the moral course the country and her hometown Kentucky are going on these days. The 47-year-old factory worker describes himself as a Christian conservative, as one reason supported Republican Daniel Cameron for governor Kentucky. He states that described debate about where values in Bible and participation trans Americans in athletics as ugly and immoral. It takes my mind off my head. He said, I never thought I'd see such a day. Cameron, accompanied by Taylor, Governor of Arkansas Sarah Huckabee Sanders and Riley Gaines, an outspoken anti trans conservative activist, days before November 7 elections. He listened carefully to the Democrats' attack on incumbent Andy Bishier at a campaign event. The reason we're going to win is because I keep talking about what Kentuckians care, said Bluegrass State Chief Prosecutor Cameron before getting on the campaign bus. But even Taylor, a native of the small town of Campbellsville in central Kentucky, thinks it will be difficult to turn Bishier into an orphan for Republican voters. I've never heard of anything negative about him, said Taylor. I open the news. Nothing negative is said about him on the radio. Nothing is called controversial. Every time you hear your name, it's always positive. And Cameron walks on rope while running the case against his colleague at law firm. The attorney general admits in his last TV commercial before election day Bashir is a good enough man. Republicans politically rule Kentucky, but even if Democratic brand has a decline in the state, its liberal-prone governor remains one of country's most popular names. A survey published by Morning Consult, for example, shows that 68 of Kentuckians do not approve of President Joe Biden's work. In the same survey, it turned out that 60 of voters approve of Bashir's performance. When asked about his first incident in an interview with USA Today, Bessayar said, I would like to think that this is about doing a good job, working as hard as you can every day, and caring for people because we've had a ton of things said. Term high grades. Although governor doesn't always have all the answers and solutions, people need to know that he cares deeply about people of Kentucky and that I care deeply about it. Bashir and Cameron draw in the last days of the campaign experts say that Bashir's appeal, coupled with his role in office, is an irresistible force that gives him an advantage when entering Tuesday. But the same observers believe that K.